Hey, how's it going? Today, we are going to be planning my winter semester schedule together. So stay tuned. All right, so I am probably one of the most organized people that you are ever gonna know, and I love organization. So this is very fun for me. This is one of my favorite parts of the semester. So first, I have a couple of things that I do. And I'm just gonna give you an overview and then show you how it goes. All right, well first I start by highlighting my semester, so my classes. So this is my last semester, and so I'm gonna throw it out and I hang it above my bed. So as you can see, this is one color for one course, one color for another course, which I also had there. And my, like my different courses. So um, I printed out this semester schedule. Uh, these long ones, the same on this one, are supposed to be my clinical dates, but it's changed because this year it's online, so I don't have um, in-person clinicals, but I still will have activities to do on these days um, to make up for the clinical time that I've lost. So I will still be highlighting these, but I'm not really in class for these days. I also label it with A for asynchronous or S for synchronous. However, most of my classes are synchronous this semester, so I will add that in and I will do that now. Okay, so I have finished highlighting all of my courses, so I have an asynchronous and synchronous class, and then most of these are synchronous. So every course has its own color, and when I go to put it into my calendar, as I'll show you in a little bit, they all will have the exact same coloring. So for Nurse 3000, for example, for the class and the seminar, it's pink. So yeah. So next, since everything is online and everything is generally posted online for me, I go through my school's um, kind of web course organizer. I guess that's where I get all my content, all of my lectures, everything. So I went through for each course already and I kind of get got the gist. So I'm just going to show you an example for my Nurse 3000 again, which is the one I labeled pink. So I went through all of the announcements, course content, readings, seminar times, assignments, everything that I needed to know. So I already know kind of the gist of the course, what textbooks I need. So I went ahead and I got the syllabus out and the, or the course outline, however your professor does it. Um, I then am going to go to the syllabus here. So next I'm going to go all through the syllabus and everything. I'm not going to show you the actual syllabus because um, privacy reasons, there's, you know, my teacher's information, my school name, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through the syllabus and I'm going to do this twice. So I'm going to write down every, every single assignment that I need to know. So for this course, so this is the Nurse 3000 course again that I highlighted in pink earlier. Um, I see that I see that I have 10% of my grade is for my seminar participation and an assignment that I have to fill in. So within 24 hours after. So I will write when my seminar is as well as when my class is on a physical calendar. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I have my physical calendar. And then I'm going to color code it with its color. So the color was pink and I'm going to do that for the entire semester. And I have the midterm, uh, group projects, papers, anything like that, the, and the final exam if you have it already. Um, and I'm going to go through it once from the syllabus onto my calendar. And then once I do it on my physical calendar, I'm going to go onto my max calendar, you know, the regular uh, calendar that it has. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing and I'm gonna follow it from the syllabus. That way, if I miss anything on the syllabus, especially if you have a lot of courses and a lot of like stuff for your course, um, you're not gonna miss the assignment because you have it in two separate places from the same syllabus. So you will not miss it, okay? It's a, it's a good trip, good tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this calendar with everything for that course and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute.
So I've now finished this one course, so everything is outlined in pink for that course. All right. So I am going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, but on my computer instead. I'm going to go onto the um, calendar app. So this course seems like it's going to be all right. The only thing is there's not a lot of coursework, so there is like a contribution that's worth 1% uh, each week. And then the rest of the mark literally comes from a midterm exam for 35%, um, a group poster for 20%, and then the final exam. So, I mean, it's not... It's going to be a heavy semester, I guess, for some parts, but it's not a lot, a lot of work so far. So, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and follow the syllabus and do the exact same thing on my calendar, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So I'm adding all this stuff. So for my lectures, I actually have it as different colors for each thing. So for so I have a class, so that color is pink. And I'm going to put the time in. It's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then repeat is every week. So it'll show up every week. But if we go to my week, for example, it'll be pink. So when I'm looking at the week view, which is what I usually do, I'll see that I have a lecture, lecture, lecture. And then if it was something else, for example, so... A seminar is yellow, an assignment is like dark pink, a test is green, a lab is like very like salmon pink, and a due date is black, and a midterm exam is brown. And so I'd be able to look from a quick glance and say, oh wait, I have a due date like this day. So it just, I find it easier on my computer to prioritize it that way as um, color coding in a different way than my calendar. So I put the content in for um, nurse 3000 so a typical week is gonna look like this for me so i have a lecture and it's in pink at 8 a.m and then i have a seminar which is my yellow color at 5 p.m on wednesday and then my contribution so that the due date in black um every thursday at four and say i have a midterm or anything that would also go on as a different color so I'm going to go ahead and do that again for my calendar. I'm going to do my next courses. So in total, I have four courses this semester. So I'm going to do that on this calendar and I'll show you how that looks. So it's been about an hour and I have finally finished putting everything in. So as you can see, yellow takes up a lot of space. That's my clinical course, but I have everything color coded. So I have my pink, my um, purple, my yellow, and my green, which wasn't on my original original schedule, but that course is completely online, so there is no scheduled time for it. So that's just my elective course, and that's in the color green. So I did it for every month. I did the course and everything that's due for the course, the times and the percentages, if there is a percentage um, associated with the assignment. So yeah, I have that done for everything. And then I went ahead and did the same thing on my computer. So here's just a random week. I think that's next week. Um, so again, it has lecture, lecture. You can tell by the color, my lab, lab testing, a seminar. Um, this is just a random note, like a random date and due dates for stuff and another seminar there. So that's just a general week. There are also plenty of apps and different things that can help you stay organized. You can use agendas, you can use reminder, um, th that kind of thing and it can definitely help people stay organized. For me, I find that this works best, having everything in front of me. I hang my calendar right over my bed, and of course, my computer has notifications, and it goes to my phone as well, so I'm able to see, and I'm able to scroll on my phone when I'm not at home to see what I have due and what's coming up. Um, I also use an app, it's called Simple and Notes, and I'll show you how that works too, but it's basically sticky notes on your computer. Um, for Macs, I you can use simple and notes, but I know for other devices you can use something called sticky notes. And how I organize it is I do three weeks at a time and I do it like in a row. So it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on a sticky note line. And I write down everything that's due on those days and then I cross it off once I'm done. And I have three weeks in a row that way I can look ahead at least three weeks because some assignments such as big papers and stuff, I generally want to start about three weeks before it's due. So I'll show you how that works. So from my calendar, as you can see here, I went from my calendar and inputted everything into my uh, sticky notes. So I can't actually click on it using the screen capture that I'm using right now. Um, and, but you can see, so this is for this week. So Monday I have that it's the Nurse 3000 lecture, Nurse 3004 lecture, 
Tuesday my lab, Wednesday my seminar, my prep that's due, my contribution that's due, my debrief, and then Saturday, um, see, you can see this line here and that splits it to the next week. You can't see it here because I have some more stuff, but it'll split it to the second week. And so that's my lab, my seminar, more prep, different stuff. So that just breaks into the next week. So I usually do it three weeks at a time just so it gives me three weeks um, notice for any big assignments. All right, well, thank you for organizing my semester with me. It was a lot of fun. Again, I love organizing. So yeah, comment down below how you organize, if you do anything differently and what works for you. I'm sure many people need tips for staying organized, especially during online school. So I hope you enjoyed that video and you found it useful somehow, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.